Wood Dyer is one of the few people in Maine who can mount a production like Orson Welles did of old. He has been, been called Linwood DeMille uh, many times over the years because of his ability to put the masses on the sea. So he's always made me live up to my full potential and believed in me enough. He really does have the vision and it's whether you can all come up to where he's at with that vision. I have tried to estimate how many shows I've done. I, I really don't know what the total count may be. It's probably 2,500 at least. I worked for Children's Theatre, Lyric Theatre, and Portland Players as tech director for one season, all three theaters. And one night I had a show opening in all three theaters at the same time. And I hired a cabbie and I just said, keep your motor running. I know I've got a fast costume change over there or I've got a set break. Uh, I'll get this up, I'll get the curtain up. I've got maybe eight minutes to get from here up to the players, check that out and get back down here and do my next beat. And it was exciting. It was fun. I couldn't do it now, but I did it then. The, my, my favorite show is, is the one that I'm working on at the time I start working. And it usually means uh, the cast is working on a seven week period, but I'm working on it maybe a three or four month period. I don't like to duplicate a show and do it the same way twice. And I find that you adapt a show to the people you have cast for those particular parts. And in some cases, what suits one person is not good for another. It has been said that Mr. Dyer likes to get as many people on the stage as possible. Now, in community theater, that's a good thing, because you want to sell tickets, and you want people to come back for more, try out as well as sit in the audience. I mean, it just, it's amazing uh, to see him put that amount of people on there, and everybody knows what they're supposed to do, where they're supposed to go, and they do it. I myself have uh, been on several shows. Uh, with him where I've experienced the intricacy of his sets which function like superb pieces of Swiss uh, watchwork. It's hard to know where to draw the line when you're designing a set. This is a very small stage, we have no fly space, we have no wing space, and frequently you have to turn things down and slide them off stage sideways. And for 10 years the critics used to say, why does the scenery always fall down at Lyric Theatre? But it doesn't. It was the only way to get it on and off stage. And a lot of times I may get a week or two into the show and realize I've either got to telescope a set or I've got to readapt it to the performers because it's giving them too much trouble getting from a doorway to a fireplace to a sofa and that sort of thing. So these are things you don't sometimes become aware of until you start moving people around on stage and saying, well, this is all really his scene and he's upstage and she's blocking him. What am I going to do with them to make them relate to each other and still keep the plot going. So it's something you learn over a period of time. Linwood is an amazing teacher. So over the years what he's, what he's taught me to do is challenge myself and see beyond and use my artistic ability to create and, and contribute. And he has fostered the community theater aspect of his life through thousands of children. He's wonderful to work with as an adult, but he shines when he deals with kids. He's just like a Pied Piper with children. I find that if you deal with kids on their terms and tell them what you want, they're fine. I, would, I did West Side Story last fall, and everybody said, you're out of your mind. You got 50 kids in that show, they'll drive you bananas. I said, I don't think so. We got along beautifully. And a lot of them had excellent ideas. Instead of doing that flip, could I do this here or could I do that? And I said, sure, we can choreograph that in. And I think if you bend halfway with your cast, that your cast will buckle back and give you what you want in the ultimate show that's going on. I would say Linwood Dyer's greatest achievement in community theater has to be tied with the longevity and the variety. All those of us that love it and step in and do a show or two here and then, Owe it to those who are the steady volunteers, because after all, that's all this is, volunteerism. It's volunteerism raised to the level of professionalism when you can bring as many gifts to the theater as uh, certain people do. He's one of the few that can bring that many. And I think that is his unique gift. I don't speak of it as a legacy, because he's got many years yet to go and could he producing this stuff. But for those of us that participate in it, it's uh, been a unique gift and made a lot of fun possible for us and happy memories for the two or three thousand people that see each of these shows.